car dealer promotions, ads, and deceptive practices. What to know before you go car shopping. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal, to recap our recent advice. Right now is not the time to be car shopping. Dealers still have a boatload of attitude. Yeah. They need a good dose of a starvation diet to fix that. So, before we get started today, I have to share an interesting story that took place on Thursday when we announced free car buying assistance to our viewers. I was on a speakerphone in the finance office of a dealer in Florida with one of our viewers. I asked the F&I guy to explain what the $7.99 dealer fee was for, and he says, it's to pay the employees. Oh, that's the dumbest explanation <laughs> I've ever heard. As if they can't pay their employees with what they make on the vehicle. And then I said, you know, and I know, that's a pile of crap. It's only there to unfairly bump the price up and pad your profits. When I challenged the finance guy on the $7.99 dealer fee, and I know Sooner got started talking, and the guy starts yelling, almost getting shrill, and making a fool of himself in front of the customer. Sucks to be caught red-handed, doesn't it, I asked. Yeah. The customer texted me afterwards to say, if nothing else, it was worth it to piss off their f and <laughs> guy. <laughs> oh, man. They're the biggest crooks in the dealership. Yeah. They even get more flustered than anyone else when they're challenged. And this guy most definitely did. Right. Now, on to today's subject, which actually has to do with deceptive dealer practices. Are you looking to buy a car, you guys? You should know that the FTC publishes some very helpful guidelines for consumer homework to determine if a dealer is just out to scam you like this finance guy was. You might see dealers advertising unusually low prices, low or no upfront payments, low or no interest loans, or low monthly payments. Doesn't that sound familiar? Of course it does. Other dealers promise high trade-in allowances, attractive discounts and rebates, or free or low-cost add-ons like service contracts and warranties. Sure. Or if you're looking to lease a car, you might notice ads for very low or no payments due at signing. Here are some ways to help you decide if car ads offer a real deal or if they are actually engaging in deceptive practices just to get you to come visit and put eyeballs on what they have to offer. <laughs> All right, here's what to know before you go. You might start your car shopping online. We suggest you should do that, but don't stop there. A great way to follow up on interesting listings and offers is to contact the dealer before you visit in person. Hammering out the details before you visit can save you hours on the lot and thousands in your pocket. Here are some ways to make car shopping easier. Whether you're buying or financing the car, ask the dealer to confirm that the vehicle is actually on the lot sure. and to send you the out the door price in writing and on dealer letterhead. This is very important, you guys. Get it in writing and on dealer letterhead before you leave home. Mm -hmm. The out the door price should include all charges and fees. Here's why you wanna do this. Some dealers will advertise for a particular listing, luring you to the dealership claiming the vehicle is unavailable and then try to sell you a different vehicle at a different and usually higher price. Advertised prices might not include various fees and charges and dealers may try to tack on add-ons and finance products to jack up your cost. Having the out the door price and writing ahead of time can help you save hours and hours of waiting at the dealership. And a ton of costs. Yep, you negotiate a better deal and you compare other offers on an apples to apples basis. Remove any unwanted add-ons and spot any last minute additional charges the dealer may be trying to sneak into your deal. Planning on trading in your vehicle? We actually recommend selling outright to a private party, but even if you do plan to trade your current vehicle, still plan to get the out the door price for the car you want and even if the dealer can't confirm how much it will give you for your trade-in, that way you have the final price in hand when you take your current car to be assessed by the dealer as a trade-in. If you see an ad for low rate financing, ask and get written answers to these questions. Is the advertised offer limited to certain types of borrowers? Do you have to make a certain down payment? If so, what are the financing terms for bigger loans with a smaller down payment? Are there other fees or payments? If so, what are they? What is the annual percentage rate APR, the total you'll pay for the entire loan? The APR is the cost of credit expressed as a yearly rate. Very good. If you plan to lease, ask and get written answers to these questions. What is the amount due at signing? If an ad promises zero due at signing, are there still things you have to pay for before you drive off the lot? For example, fees, taxes, a security deposit, or the first month's payment? Mm -hmm. What is the total amount due under the lease? And how many miles are you allowed under lease? What is the charge if you go over the allowance? What other types of fees and charges might apply at the end of the lease? Remember, your time is valuable and your bargaining power is greatest before. 
Let me say that again, before you go to the dealer lot. If you plan to finance your purchase, also try to get pre-approved for a loan before you work with the dealer's financing office. A credit union is best, but banks and other lenders can offer pre-approvals even if you don't have an account or aren't even a member. Having a pre-approval before you get to the dealership can help you determine whether the dealer is matching you with an attractive offer and can help you negotiate for an even better loan. Get your offer details, including discounts and writing. Walk away if the dealer doesn't have the car you want or won't honor the price it sent you. Then report the dealer to the FTC. Here's the link for the website you can use, reportfraud.ftc.gov. Deceptive dealer practices and deceptive car ads. Not all dealers play by the rules. Confirm the prices, discount offers, and financing or lease terms before you visit the dealership. Yep. Get all that information in writing and on dealer letterhead. Dealers might bury important details in the fine print or on different pages of their website or not give them to you until you're in the showroom or finance office. Dealers who do that kind of stuff are engaging in deceptive practices. Here are examples of ad claims that may be deceptive and why. Deceptive claim, low, low prices or special discounts. Anyone bellowing low, low prices is pretty much full of the stuff that comes out of the backside of a cow. <laughs> How do you know for sure? Low prices or discounts in ads are misleading when the dealer doesn't honor them. You might get to the dealership only to learn that the vehicle isn't available at the lot or wasn't on the lot to begin with. There are unexpected eligibility requirements. For example, you have to be a current lessee, be a recent college graduate, be in the military, live in a certain size apartment, or finance with a particular bank or meet some other <laughs> silly criteria to qualify. Shoe size. And then there are big costs, like a large down payment or a processing fee that aren't disclosed or they're buried in fine print. And finally, the low price is available only on limited models. Yeah. A super deceptive claim is only $99 a month or some ridiculous low monthly payment offer. It could mean a number of things. Yeah. You might get to the lot, think you are getting the advertised price and walk out paying much more because the dealer has included add-ons or other fees and charges into your deal. You'll need to come up with a large down payment. The offer is for a lease, but not a purchase. The payments might balloon later, or there's a lot of eligibility requirements. The offer is for an extended term loan that takes longer and costs more to pay back. Another very deceptive claim, zero or low interest rate loans. The low advertised annual percentage rate might only apply to highly or well-qualified borrowers, meaning those with the highest credit scores. And then there's deceptive claim, Zero due at least citing the fine print could say additional fees, sometimes several thousand dollars yeah. are due at least signing or that the offer involves rebates or discounts with significant qualifications or requirements. Another highly obvious deceptive claim, you've won. The prize <laughs> is often just a tactic to get your butt into the showroom. It may make it seem like you've won when in fact you have to jump through a bunch of hoops to even have a chance. Or it may seem like you've been specially selected with some mailer that went out to lots of other people too. Before you sign a car contract, if you're ready to buy or lease a car from a dealer, when you get the documents that need your signature, ask to see how your purchase price and other terms match what the dealer sent to you ahead of time. Mm -hmm. If they don't match, ask questions and be prepared to walk away if necessary. Yep. Make sure you understand the terms before you sign and drive away with the car. So here's how to report problems. If you think a dealer isn't being honest when it comes to its ads or selling or leasing process, report them. You can let the FTC know at reportfraud.ftc.gov. And finally, could I ask all of you to do us a favor? Visit our website today at thehomeworkguy.com and leave us a review on our social media page with a few thoughts on what you've learned from us over the last many years. Also, if you're interested while you're on the website, you'll find additional information and links to order the X caps and AMS oil. For future reference, our website is where we publish the info and links for these products instead of on the channel. X caps and AMS oil are two great products and they're great ways to save on gas expense and keep your vehicles running longer in tip top shape. 13 years on YouTube has been an unbelievable journey for us folks. And many of you have been with us every step of the way. And if you missed it, go back and see our video on our offer for free car buying advice. It was a very fun day on Thursday as <laughs> hundreds of text messages and emails poured in from all around the country. You can message us too. Just email to Kevin the homework guy at gmail.com or text us at 701-441-3399. I do carry that phone line with me <laughs> and I do answer it. You don't get an automated line. You actually get us. Right. 
If you'd like to show your appreciation for 13 years of trusted service to the public by sending us a tip, and of course there's zero obligation, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box below. PayPal, Cash App, and now Venmo. As Liz said, you owe us nothing, but so many of you have tipped us over the years. It's been humbling and mind-blowing. And if you ever wondered why we do the tip jar at all, it does provide a good indicator to tell us how well we are doing. And when somebody contributes totally voluntarily, it says loud and clear how much you appreciate what we do. Yep. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome all of you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back. And to all of our faithful followers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Once again, we're still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.